I walked into this beautiful image of the Beit HaMikdash. I just feel like, oh my gosh, staring at it. Soon the vision of what will be these three weeks, especially the Shabbos before Shabbos Chazan, to really see the vision of who we're going to be. Our life is going to be the peace, the tranquility, the calmness. But we can tap into it today, tomorrow. We can tap into it every day. For just like loving ourselves for where we're at and really appreciating ourselves for the efforts that we make and really feel the holy of holies within that's just yearning and longing. I hope you come. We had a beautiful show here. Oh my gosh, how many Shabbatims I was here and you can't see the blue sky that's they made the whole ceiling like clouds and blue skies. It's dark here, but... And you just like dove in and you just like, you know, see the blue sky. I remember the story of Shema Yisrael. Had this wagon driver that was so despondent that he was a wagon driver and he wanted to be full-time in the Beit Midrash studying and just was envious and like, what could he do? Like. So he went out to see the Rebbe. I think it was the Tzemach Tzedek, maybe one of our Chabad Rebbe's. And the Friedrich Rebbe actually tells a story in the Kate di Borim um, that the story was told, I think of his, I don't think of his father, but either his father or his grandfather, that this Hasid was like 99 years old. Every time he came to tell the story, he was on fire and he like, he like really, really felt like, like as if he was reliving the experience of the Yechidas he had with the Rebbe, with his dilemma. And he said, Shema Yisrael. And he traveled very far to hear these words. And he was like, what? I came here, traveled so far. And he gave me like these two words, Shema Yisrael. And he was, again, kind of frustrated, and he knew there must be something deeper to this, so he investigated and started asking around, and then someone told him, Shema Yisrael is Su'u Merom Enechem, like, put your eyes upward. Put your eyes upward. So he understood, he got the message from, I guess, a messenger from the Rebbe at the time that, that Shema Yisrael means you're a wagon driver and all day long you could see the sky and you could have easy access of gazing and being inspired by God's creation and all you have to do is just look up and it'll be like you're all day long in the Beit Midrash studying because it's the Vekos, to Hashem. And so he was able to help this man be at peace with his lot in life of not being able to afford to like be able to just learn all day long. And every time he met the relative, the, you know, cause he was 99 and by that time, you know, his reverie had passed on. But every time he saw the relative, he would tell the story as if he was meeting with that inspiration, with that like unbelievable power of revelation that he had, that he could be so close to Hashem in the wagon. And then he said, you know, my wish is that till the day I die, that I can say Shema Yisrael, the way I've been feeling since, I don't know, it was 60 years ago that I had that Yechidus with the Rebbe. 
that my last breath on this earth will still say Shema Yisrael. Hmm. Well, this is just so beautiful. I had to share when I thought and I was looking at the sky, even though it's not a real sky. And it's so beautiful here. May every Shema Yisrael help you know that just look up above and just try to have a connection and a Devekas with Hashem. That's really what it's all about. Wherever you are, whatever's going on in your life, Su'u Merom Enechem. I hope those of you who are my soul sisters in LA, uh, I hope you come and enjoy the evening. Those that will come will inspire the Rebison to make more of an effort to make these events happening. Um, this Rebison and I go back a long time, I don't know, maybe 15, 16 years, and uh, just happy to be back to like keep having the partnership to just bring more light and love. Blessings to you all. Come, my beloved.